Hello and welcome to today's words of encouragement. It's the uh, 4th of July and I'm just up here in the mountains by myself, snuck away from the kids and wanted to share some words of encouragement with you. Uh, I'm here at what our family calls the burned down cabin. And it's kind of a sad story. This is the cabin that sits next door to our grandparents' cabin. And a couple of years ago, the family that owns this came up and they had one last day at the cabin before closing it up and, and leaving. And they ended up having a fire. Well, that day they went home and canceled the insurance on the cabin. And that night, some of the soot that was in the chimney uh, fell out of the chimney and into the living room. And it ended up burning down the entire cabin. And now, a couple years later, it's still not repaired because they didn't have the insurance on the property. And, you know, it reminds me of a time when I felt like my life was burning down. As I've shared with you guys, some of my successes and also some of my failures. After the Great Recession, I... I was a mess. I couldn't find a job. I was owed back pay. My self-esteem was suffering. And we were struggling for groceries. I was having to borrow money from my mom and dad. And it was just a really embarrassing, kind of shameful time. And um, I remember one night at like 11.30 at night, 11.30 p.m., I get this phone call. And I'm like, God, who is calling me this late at night? And the person on the other line says, hello, is this Stephen Gardner? I said, yes, who's this? And he said, this is Rich Coles. You don't know me, but you're friends with my brother. And I heard that you had fallen on some hard times and I just wondered if you would come to my house tomorrow at 6 a.m. and I will give you a bag of meat. And I was like, oh wow, okay, yeah, that's, that's really nice. Thank you for doing that. And so uh, I, I woke up the next morning, drove to the address, knocked on the door promptly at 6 a.m. And this gentleman opens the door who I never met and who I have never seen since. And he hands me two large garbage bags of frozen elk meat. And he, uh, he's an avid hunter and very successful, has a, a blog and, and uh, his own little internet TV show about it. And uh, anyway, he had uh, wanted to clear out his freezer because he um, had, had, you know, hunted another animal. And you can't sell meat in Utah or it's considered poaching. So he had to give it away. So when he asked his brother, he said, I know a guy who could really use some help. And so anyway, just like, I, I'm just so grateful to Rich Coles, who I've never seen again, for doing me a kindness when it felt like my, my life was burning down. Anyway, uh, you know, it's the 4th of July. I wanted to say happy 4th of July. This country has gone through a lot, a lot of good and a lot of pain. And whenever you're birthing anything new and positive, there's pain. And so hopefully there's something good coming your way and uh, things will turn around quickly for you. Uh, you know, I don't know where you find yourself at today. But I know that no matter what, you're amazing, and I believe in you, and you're going to make it. 
And so anyway, I just wanted to share some words of encouragement because I've, I've been through what felt like hell <laughs> and I made it through the other side. And uh, after that, I started a business and I worked my guts out, sometimes 14 hour days in the beginning, getting my company up and running. And uh, now I, I'm able to be in a position to help others to make it through their hard time. And so you shouldn't feel ashamed about whatever you're going through. Just remember this, sometimes you're the giver and sometimes you're the receiver. And so maybe right now you're the one that needs to receive and maybe a rich coals will come out of nowhere and, and bless your life. Anyway, I just wanna remind you that you're amazing and I'm so grateful to have you in my community. Happy 4th of July. I'll see you on the next video.